Hey Leo, welcome to your reading for November 2024. Um, this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Those intuitively guided, thank you for paying attention to your intuition. Um, this is a time where I feel like it's a great time to like bring in your spirit guides, ask them for clarity within a reading, um, give you the signs, you know, whatever they may be. Um, and then just kind of let it go. You know what I mean? Some of you could certainly be in love be in love with the Leo. I had a lot of Leo love in my life. I still have some. Um well I mean I have it all. But yeah, same thing. You'll receive messages. Um let me give a shout out to a couple of Leos in my life. My grandson Lex is right on that cusp. He's the twenty third of July. Um, my mom was August 5th. Her name was Connie. Um, her real name was Mary, but she went by Connie. That Constance was her middle name. Um, my son, who many of you know has crossed over Stephen, he is August 12th. And I know many of you share his birthday. Uh, my soul sister, Diane, who I just have to say, that I'm a little worried about. I don't know. I feel like there's something about, like, I get this feeling um, that maybe not, maybe everything's not okay. And if that's the case, you know, I pray that Steve is, like, there by your side. Um, she's August 16th. So I feel like you need to check in. I don't know. Um, so I'm just hoping all is okay. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the cards we're going to use. We're going to use quite a few different decks here, Leo. Um, I'm doing opposite signs again. So your opposite sign is um, Aquarius, and their reading is already done. So, you know, you may have gotten pulled to it. Um, it's just, you know, I feel like each sign can learn from each other, and... I don't know. It's just something intuitively I felt like doing. So I've been doing it and I kind of love the format. So why not continue? So again, your office is already done. Um, we are going to use Mother Mary for her words of wisdom, but we're going to do it at the end of the reading. Um, we are going to use the Romance Angels if needed. And this is if romance shows up in any way, love. You know, I feel like it, I've been using him in every sign, so I feel like love is always part of our readings. Um, and maybe that's just how it's meant to be here. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to fight it. Um, we're going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or go deeper. These are why the readings are so long. And... You know, my, what I call psychic curiosity. Like, I like to go deeper. You know what I mean? Because to me, it's like a movie. Um, but I know it's real life. Uh, this is the Universal Tarot. This is going to be the main spread. And we brought back the Major Arcanas for the month, month of November. And I use these kind of like bullet points. Like, um, I'm sure most of you have seen, like, the other videos for November. And, you know, we take, like, three or four, or really whatever comes out, because I can't remember what sign. It may have been your opposite, where there's, like, eight came out. And I couldn't refuse them. So, we use them as bullet points. I don't really read them as people, either. I read it more as energy. Give them one more shuffle. They're a little hard shuffle. All right, let's give them a cut. Seems out cut the grass. It's like the final cut of the year. I I bet we're very close to it. All right, Leo. Oh, 
All right, we have Justice, first card, card of Libra. You know, to me, justice means a lot of different things. It can talk about karma, you know, something karmic. And sometimes it's like a lesson. I feel like there's a lesson, then there's a blessing. So I feel like maybe part of the lesson is like using that sword, cutting a string, you know, an attachment. Like, cut it off. Um, justice is about making you whole again. It is about balance, ultimately. So some of you may just find yourself like you've been in a state of feeling unbalanced. But I feel like this is a good thing for you. It's almost like she's looking at me like the job's already done. I already did it. Done. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I did it. You know, it's interesting because I'm reading like two different energies. Like I, like I feel like I'm reading a like a female energy, and this could be like back, back in different lifetimes where I feel like she's prim and proper, and probably just how she was raised. Um, and then I feel there's the opposite energy of like a guy um, who's like free and wild. You know what I mean? And I don't know. It may be their journey. Let's see what else we get. We have the high priestess. This is your intuition. Bring this lid down. This is like following your intuition. We have, well, hello, lovers. Interesting. It's kind of like I have a Romeo and Juliet. You know, type of energy. Heart of Gemini. Um, it is the head of a heart decision. That's what it's about. Should I or shouldn't I? You know, if that's someone's question, it's saying trust your intuition. Like your intuition is letting you know. You just have to trust it. So some of you, it's about using that sword. But I feel like for more, it's like, because I do get this energy of like someone saying the job's already done. And maybe it's because of another. You know what I mean? It's completely different energy. But your intuition is right in between it. Let's see if anything else wants to come out. Oh. We have the sun. Well, there's your roller. You know, I can't leave out that some of you could be directly attached or connected. Um, what do I want to say? Like to a Gemini. And then we have the star. Star. Hold on one second. My doorbell's ringing. Okay. Um, it was Sam, and he just kept bringing it, and then more, and more, and it was like making, it was like giving me anxiety, I'm like, chill, like, it's like, chill out, so weird, um, anyway, the star, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, you know, it's like it lies on the other side of this blade, and I feel like intuitively, with the sun here, like, everything is illuminated, so intuitively, I feel like some of you already know, you know, and maybe it is about love. But again, the star, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. And I always feel in the star's energy, like, we have to remember that we're working hand in hand with divine to bring about these dreams. So that means to me, like, sometimes actions. 
like I had to be willing to put in, you know, put it in the action to bring about the result. And that could be that sword. So for some of you, that sword is like on the other side of it is where I feel like it's a different world. It just feels like a different world. Okay. Let me just grab a drink of coffee. I feel like I just want to bring my energy down a little bit. Um, Star is also the card of Aquarius. So it's interesting you have all the air signs out. Interesting. You could be going through like, you know, if you're still questioning whether you use this sword for whatever it might be, you know, if it's person or what, you could be like in this state of, well, unbalanced. But here's the thing, like, it doesn't have to be that way. Let's give him a cut. All right, well, the first one we have face up is four of cups. Hmm. You know, so this is definitely for those who have not used that sword because there's some type of discontentment. There's something that's making you discontent. There's something, you know, you could feel bored within your life, you know, like, uh, like, uh, this is it. You know, but the thing within the Four of Cups is there is a cup coming in. And I often feel like, you know, it's like it's, it's spiritual. You know, like it's meant to be. Um, and this is really about learning to use like, it's kind of like here where it's saying your intuition is really guiding you. You just have to trust it. You know, like if you're questioning should I use the sword? You already know. You know what I mean? Like, you know what you know what you know. And the sun illuminates that even more. You know what I mean? So, if I'm unhappy, and it doesn't have to mean I'm happy in all areas of my life, but definitely within your emotional house. But again, here's opportunity for change. And again, the ball is in your court. You know what I mean? Because this person, this person's head's down. Usually the person's looking right at it. So I can't deny what I can see with my own eyes, right? Or what I feel. Um, but this person, it's almost like, I don't know. Could I ignore it? I think I could. That's what it kind of feels like in there. Normally I don't feel that. All right. We have the moon. So we have the feminine and the masculine. Um, Card of Pisces, ruler of Cancer. Feminine and the masculine. You know, the moon can signify, you know, that this journey that you're about to take, it's not about like where the ultimate destination is. It's about the journey. You know what I mean? It's about the journey. Um, and it's like, I feel like, and you don't want to skip the journey. So I could be resistant to something because I don't know. I'm uncertain if it's going to be 
Is this really going to be a forever, a forever type of love? You know, it's something emotional. Um, and I feel like, you know, the moonlight is, is saying you can only see as far as the moon will allow you. You know, when the sun is out, it, everything's illuminated. There's no place for shadows to hide when the moon is out. You know, you sometimes you don't know what's around the corner, but but again, it feels like that's the way it's meant to be because the moon is also very dreamy type energy. So again, it's almost like my perspective. Hmm. Well, okay. Well, I'm not gonna resist them. Just the way they came out was kind of aggressive. We have the high priestess again. Your intuition. We have the Ten of Swords. Interesting. You know, what I want you to notice, like, in this Ten of Swords, this person sees the swords coming. You know, and this is why I feel sometimes in Ten of Swords, like, I could, I could be in a repeat pattern of something. And... I almost felt like this person is is somewhat submissive, you know. It's almost like I expect a dagger to come, and therefore a dagger comes. You know, but you're aware of it. I feel like there's, there's definitely an energy of, like, being very honest with yourself. You know what I mean? Like, just being honest with yourself. Like, I may have wished and wanted that one thing would happen with maybe someone, but maybe that person just isn't your, I don't know, like your Romeo, your Joliet. Because I feel like that's yet to come. Here, I feel like it's somewhat of a repeat pattern, but I feel like there's no way with the sun above it and the high priestess beside, there's no way that I don't have awareness over this. And then look at this, Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. What a difference of energy. Interesting. You know, the star card so close to that. You know, it's almost like if I want to create this house of abundance, you know, and I want to create it out of, like, some type of dream. You know, like, I think if my son, that's one of the reasons why I have this guitar displayed, is my son this just reminds me of his first guitar. And just the story of how it came to me is just incredible. And he's Leo. Um, but anyways, it's about, I feel like, taking that, you know, your God-gifted talent... Um, whatever it may be, and, you know, if I'm wondering if I should or will I be successful, I, I kind of feel like it's answering that for you, but I feel like it's going to depend on you also, you know, but I feel like if I follow, if I follow my dreams, I do feel like there's an opportunity for it to be abundant for you, let's just say. And in the Ten of Pentacles, I often don't feel you're alone, so it's kind of like a switch of a house. You know, the Ten of Swords could be one side of that blade, the Ten of Pentacles is on the other side of that, that blade. You know, when I think of the Ten of Pentacles, I don't know why, I think of a house that's like, where there's loyalty, where it's not even questioned, you know what I mean? Like... Like, I don't worry that, you know, you that someone's going to go cheat. I just know it's not going to happen. I know I'm not going to do it. You know what I mean? Like, there's a certainty to a point where you can, like, let it go. Like, move it, move that emotion on, you know, out so you can be more. Hmm. definitely feel like you know if you have certain dreams that you want to come true first of all i do feel like you have to be proactive because it starts in this four of cups energy so 
starts with you. And two things. I feel like, you know, with your intuition right here, right in the middle right now, I feel like, you know, maybe in the four of cups, I just need to say to myself, if I'm not, if I'm not in a good place, you know, am I in a place where I've been here before? You know, I've been here before. Why did it, you know, it's almost like, why do I think it's going to be any different? But yet, I, again, I feel the other side of that blade. Hmm. Let's keep going. 11, 11. Like, make a wish. You know, it's funny. Then I'm looking at Star Card and I'm thinking, well, that is about making a wish. But then being proactive in it at the same time. You know, and I love that the sun's kind of illuminate, illuminating that part of you. But I also feel like it's illuminating someone else. And it's like, in my intuition, is my answer. So, again, maybe I'm attached to someone where... I, you know, sword after sword. Like, they didn't disappoint. Or. Or do I want to live in the Ten of Pentacles? Hmm. Seven of Cups. So, it's like, you are trying to make this decision. You know, Seven of Cups can talk about, like, energy that can feel somewhat chaotic. So maybe I would choose a cup quickly. Hmm. You know, I just feel like for someone which is not normally Leo, I feel like without love in my life, What's the sense? And I don't know. Like, it doesn't feel like Leo to me. Because I feel like maybe maybe being alone and, like, doing things, um, you know, following your dreams, like, that are yours, maybe that's also part of your journey. You know, again, this reading is definitely about the journey, not the ultimate outcome. Though I do feel like the Ten of Pentacles is like giving you a little bit of, let's just say, potential, right? This is your potential. Like you could be living in the Ten of Pentacles. And in the Ten of Pentacles, I don't feel like you're living alone. All right, well, look at this. The star has like jumped down into the reading. With this all like nighttime energy, the moon and the stars. I don't know why, but I just feel like you're questioning whether you should follow a dream. Whether you should follow like maybe, you know, what you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling it in your intuition and you're questioning like, should I follow that? This feels like one of those things where only you can decide. But it's kind of showing you like, you know, I can do this or I can do that. I can live this way or I can live this way. I can ignore this cup and I can just continue on, you know, in the Ten of Swords. I accept this cup 
don't know where it's going through the moon's energy, you know, but I'm willing to, I'm willing to find out. You know, it's almost like my intuition is calling me. And it's funny because the stars like below the moon. Hmm. Interesting. All right. We have the King of Pentacles. For some reason, I knew he was going to come out. I just knew it. Um, and I don't feel like in a bad way. I just knew he was going to come out. So we have the king, you know, maybe it was because the Ten of Pentacles is out. It just, like, made me think of it. I don't know. Anyway, here he is. <laughs> here he is. King Pentacles can be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, doesn't have to be, though. It's interesting. He's holding this big pentacle in his hand, you know, which makes you think that, you know, I'm going to give this pentacle, right? Because why am I going to hold it? I'm going to give it. But. I'm going to give it, you know, I feel like to the right person. So it feels to me then that means the other person is working towards some type of dream, like is following not just love, but also, you know, what it is they want to do. Not accepting what's just not acceptable. Okay, let's keep going. We have the Page of Swords. Hmm. Could be communication. We have, interesting, the Tower. Okay. You know, in a way, I feel like what it's saying is when I'm thinking about this, like, you know, let's just say, like, this new opportunity, this, I don't know, like, these lovers, I feel... I, don't, I feel, like, attached to them. Like, they feel attached to each other, even if they're not. If that makes sense. And, um... I don't know. I almost feel like I can't deny that. Yet, I may find myself, like, in a situation where... I don't know why, but I, you know, mm, it just it doesn't feel like you. But again, it's like questioning. Well, you know, first of all, in the four of cups, her head's down. It's almost like she's ignoring this cup. But in the seven of cups, this person looking right at the cups. So at least now I'm acknowledging it. And, I'm, you know, I, I'm acknowledging it. I'm afraid of failure. I don't want to fail. Whatever it may be. And it makes sense. If I've been in the Ten of Swords energy. Again the sun. Illuminating it. Person is laying on its back. Looking right up at the swords. They are piercing the body. And it could talk about communication. Maybe somebody's like verbally abusive. Or it maybe it just become that way. I don't know. Just kind of feels toxic, but it also feels like energy that would easily repeat itself, and I just have to be aware of that. So anyway, anyway, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. It is swords. Well, I'm not really aware of it in there, or I don't want to face it. I don't want to be honest. It is sort of self-created prison, like I'm just going to sit, you know, behind these walls that I put up. Again, had be the energy of just repeating that Ten of Swords type of energy. Seven of Wands underneath that, dang. Hmm. 
You know, it's funny because I feel like the majority of the negative energy, for some reason, I'm believing that I have to accept it. Where the truth of the matter is, I don't have to accept it. But I will have to be bold enough to, like, you know, then cut the ties and move on to, you know, again, maybe some of you, it's like, again, you know, different dreams that you've had. And although this is all about the journey, I feel like it is giving you, um, you know, just a peek. Like, just saying, like, you know, you can say, you can think, yes, it's going to end up in the tower. And therefore, do I not make it end up in the tower? I don't know. But this is saying that, no, it may end up in the Ten of Pentacles, which to me, again, is the House of Loyalty. The King of Pentacles kind of would also represent that to me. I'm also seeing that he's mirroring the lover, so, you know, it doesn't have to be an Earth sign. It just means, it to me, it feels like someone who's patient, um, looking right at the star. So I'm looking right at the star. And, he, you know, to me, it feels like he may be wishing upon the star. But it's funny because I feel like, but it's your star. He just doesn't, he may not know it at this moment. Interesting. Maybe you're both like, just about to meet. I don't know. That's interesting. All right. Let's bring in the Guild of Tarot and let's get right into this. You know, don't look at something as in, well, I'm not going to do it because, you know, chances are it's going to end up in the tower. Instead, ask yourself, you know, because again, I feel like it's about the journey. And I'm going to make, you know, it's like through the journey is, is where I'm making these ultimate decisions. But it feels like a very good journey. And again, I feel like your intuition is going to lead you. All right. We have the Page of Wands. Hmm. I often call the Page of Wands my risk taker. You know, I could have, like, followed something that, at the time, when I, let's just say, you know, as a page, you could talk about a younger time, um, that just, you know, I probably thought was going to work. But, you know, what I always say about the Page of Wands is this page, like, always gets back up. It may take a moment. All right. I feel like I want to take these first. Hmm. Interesting. We have the Five of Swords. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Boy, does that feel like that just answered a question for you. You know, 
and that page is looking in a completely different direction than all these swords. Five of Swords is like, there is that toxicity. And coming over the High Priestess too, like, and, you know, in a way, I feel like you know it. But what it's saying is like, will or repeat? The answer is yes. Yes. It's like, it doesn't matter how many times you flip over, it's gonna, those swords are still gonna, the same thing's gonna happen. It That, you know, so something, there's somewhere there's a repeat. Um, and, and I feel like I know that. Yet this page of wands feels, feels like, but I'm going the other direction. I'm in a different type of energy. Like I'm, I'm moving on. This we have the will. It's funny coming over the sun, also coming over the ten of pentacles, your destiny. Stars like feeding the energy of the will. Some of you, I feel like you're just entering like at a destined time. But again, it may take it may take you to like per, just cut certain ties. I feel like just what whatever they are, they are. Um, and I feel like I can't deny it because the sun's like illuminating that, but also illuminating that like your will, your destiny, and your dreams. You know, that's probably why I said eleven, eleven, make a wish. And now I see the star card twi uh, twice, but also your dreams, you know, you, and it just may be like the, the life that you have in mind, you know, the type of life, you know, is it possible? And I feel like, yes, it's saying yes, right? But you got to allow this, like, first of all, I probably have to cut, you know, use that sword. And then let that be. And then, you know, follow, first of all, my intuition. So I feel like it takes you to really, like, take these action steps. But, again, I feel like you're feeding this wheel. So you're making it spin. Hmm. We have the Queen of Swords. Well, she would have no problem just cutting those ties. We have the Devil, Card of Capricorn. We have the Chariot. Part of Cancer. We have the Four of Wands. That is the marriage card. Interesting, it's coming right between these two tens. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have Seven of Pentacles. All right. You know, for some of you, you know, there may be this dream of doing something where <clears throat> others, like, may claim that, you know, it's like doing tarot, where some people can look at it and call it, like, evil or, you know, but again, I don't do predictions. I do potentials, you know, and this is just showing potential. You know, how you see it through your mind's eye is how you see it. Um, but anyway, why am I saying that? Um, I just feel like there could be this energy where, you know, I just feel like you've got to follow your dreams. It doesn't matter what other people are saying. Just follow them. And, you know, I kind of love the chariot, like, coming right in the middle here. 
Because first of all, it's movement. It's coming right under the Ten of Swords. So it is movement. It's like, here is the way. And it's moving right to the Four of Wands. And I just find it interesting, like, the Four of Wands is, is really touching the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, but also Destiny. Listen, it's probably talking about two different people. Some of you could, again, talk about repeat. Um, but I feel like first I have to learn that lesson to even move forward here. But I feel like, you know, I feel like it's time. It feels like it's time. Like something is coming to fruition. Again, maybe, you know, that it's coming through the Knight of Swords energy. Maybe it's some form of communication. And it may just come out of the blue. But it feels like, it feels like, but really, it's, it's in divine timing. It's in, in the right time. For some of you, this devil could be, because the King of Pentacles is right here at Capricorn. Um, but also Cancer. But then again, I just feel like really, really what it's saying is this king, this king is holding this pentacle and this tree like it feels like it's time something's coming to fruition and all this is attached to the lovers and i kind of love the chariot because that really does you know it represents unlimited potential but it the chariot's really driven by my intentions so I really determined, like, again, it's like, it's like this reading is about your power and your, and the power of your intention, right? Because I tell the chariot where to go and it really becomes unlimited potential. But here's the thing. I feel like it's not just talking about, you know, like maybe a dream coming true. It also feels like it's tra talking about love. And it just kind of feels like it's time. But yet I feel like only you can make that decision. Hmm. All right. I feel like now we got to kind of bring in the lovers. You know, I'm trying to think. Like, where do I want, where do I want to look? I'm going to look at the wheel. But I'm also looking at everything around it, like the sun, the Ten of Pentacles, the star, but also the Ten of Swords. We have wedding. The situation involves mar marriage. Well, that makes sense with justice being here. Some of you, it could be an actual marriage. And it's interesting how this showed up in reverse. And something is making me look at it reverse. Normally, I would just turn it over. But something is really making me, you know, it's like I maybe I thought someone was something... But they turn out to be, listen, from the five of swords, it goes into the ten of swords, but, and I, and I cannot deny it anymore. Um, maybe I thought that they were like a soulmate. I don't know. 
Um, and I feel like once I leave it, it doesn't even matter. But I feel like past life, mm, probably not them. I probably is yet to come. So I feel like it's talking right now more about the Ten of Swords energy. Just follow that a little more. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Interesting, where it's saying like one is not, and it's being very clear about that. And then immediately, here comes in a soulmate. Some of you, this might all be happening like at the same time. And that may be what the Seven of Cups is. It's like feeling chaotic with this energy. It's like, you know, I love who I love or, you know, I reconnected to who I reconnected to. Or, again, maybe it's not even that first. It's me just like following a dream, even if like other people are against it. I feel like you have to find like a way to do it. Excuse me one second. Okay, guys, um, I'm back. I had to step away for a second. You know, it's interesting. I just noticed that this king and this queen are over here. And I don't know when they came out. Um, but here they are. Hmm. This is probably you, male or female. You know, it's interesting because she really is doing the mic drop. And um, I feel like we've already seen her. Oh, yeah, we did right here. Interesting because we have this page and now we have this king. Hmm. King may be waiting for you to make a decision. Or you're waiting for someone to make a decision. Or someone's waiting on you. Interesting. I'm sure there are the soulmates. You know, and it's interesting because the queen, it doesn't seem like the queen of swords even is really taking notice. And that may be because the eight of swords is here. Again, it's a self-created prison. Um, and because she's doing this mic drop, it's like, it's my way. Now, I, I it's like confusing because it's like which one are you? Hmm. But this is all about putting that in the past. That's the thing, and this is about really the potential of what can be. But I feel like it starts in the Eight of Swords energy, right? Taking the walls down, maybe cutting this time, like you know, being real with oneself. How is it that I see my life? And then being proactive in it. So, again, using that sword where that sword needs to be used. Again, can talk about something of a repeat pattern. Maybe I've given someone multiple chances, opportunities, and, you know, they never disappoint. And not in a good way. But yet, I feel like on the other side, again, of this blade lies another lover and i feel like this person is you know it's interesting like you know because i feel like the person that is causing me all these problems i don't feel like that person is of past life so i don't really feel that soul connection 
you know, so we could talk about karmic. Maybe it's a karmic lesson, right? Maybe it's all about really learning to listen to your intuition and being like really honest with yourself. I'm not telling you to leave anyone. That has, you know, that's the one thing in your reading it's saying is like, it has to be your decision, right? It needs to, it needs your action. But if you put, it's almost like if you put positive energy out, you know, on the wheel, then it moves in a positive way. If I put negative, you know, or I expect the same things to, to be different, but I know better, you know, so it's really which one I feed. I think you just have to have the realization that you know, again, someone that I may have thought was more or, you know, part of my eternity, let's say, really is not. So it's either free will or it's karmic. All right. What else do I want to look at? You know, and just because one tower fell, it doesn't mean that everything will fail, will fall. You know what I mean? Like, because again, it's about the journey, but it's about you taking those necessary steps. And I don't feel like they're difficult. I feel like they're just action oriented. And truthful. All right. I think I want to look at. I was going to say the four of wands. Um, that is also connected to the tower. Look at this. Release your ex. It's kind of just says everything in one card. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And then playfulness. But it's interesting because it came in reverse also. So I don't feel like, I don't feel like with the X, there's a lot of playfulness. I just don't. Um, but that doesn't mean that there can't be in your life. It just does. It's just not with certain someone. So anyways, to capture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It's in reverse. It's almost like because it's so close to your ex, I definitely feel it's, see, again, who I thought someone was is not who they are. Um, but that doesn't mean, like, you know, what's waiting can't be more than you could even imagine type of energy. But I could understand, you know, like, because it does feel like an end of a relationship. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it's not allowing the past to be the predictor of my present. Or my future. Right? Like, when I let this go, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. And I'm just going to be open. Just be open. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like your intuition is really being illuminated to you. Because it just wants you to follow it. And it may be step by step because it's, again, I'm just going to say it, more about the journey. It's about the journey. You know, I feel like you don't have to worry about the destination. But, you know, you do have to keep, you know, you got to keep in mind, like, how I feed it. You know, and here with the X, like that playfulness part of you. It's gone. 
And again, I may have thought that they were someone that they were, but they or that they weren't. But that doesn't mean that you know what you're looking for doesn't exist. You know, I often feel like soulmate energy, like when when and and I hate to say the word, but I'm looking for them. They're also looking for me. Now, I feel more, I should say, when I begin down a certain path, <clears throat> excuse me, path, so do they. And it may be like from their life, what's going on, and your life, what's going on. And I feel like those paths will merge. You know, and I just know that all I need to do is just keep following my intuition. And then it's really about the journey. I mean, just think about it. Like, think about the journey, right? Of new love, of like love that just fills you up. You know, it feels like love that just opens you up. And, you know, it's like the things, you know, it's funny because I feel like there's certain dreams and wishes that are yours where other people may have frowned upon them, where I feel like this person, and I am, I guess I am looking ahead, but this person I feel like um, would 100% without doubt be behind you. You know what I mean? Whatever, wherever path, like wherever it takes you, right? I will follow. Okay. I think I'm going to look at this King of Pentacles. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Flirt. And then let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. That's exactly what I'm feeling. Like, just allow it to unfold, you know? Again, like, it, it doesn't have to be about, like, where will the final destination be? It's just, like, enjoy it. Allow yourself to enjoy it and allow it just to be what it's going to be and be who you are. You know, allow that inner child of yourself to come out. I don't feel like it would be hard, to be honest. So I see this king in a positive light. I think I want to look at this king and this queen. Because this king is looking so intently at the Eight of Swords, which is also right here. Seven of Wands below that one. It's almost like, you know, keeping my, my, my mouth shut because it's not worth the fight. You know? Like not doing something because it just doesn't feel like it's worth the fight. But... Again, this King of Wands, like, looking in. And, he, and it looks like he's just waiting. He's just waiting. This queen may not know that. You know, it's almost like this King of Wands is looking over this Queen of Swords and it's almost like he knows that she has this job to do and he knows that it's important 
maybe like because they're so connected, it's important that he allow her, you know, to do it to, you know, so this could be some type of karmic lesson. And it's like this King of Wands is, is allowing her to, you know, learn this karmic lesson. So really when it's learned, you know, or the cutting of those ties, like you cut them for eternity. You know what I mean? It's for eternity. And um, so it kind of feels like this King of Wands like doesn't want to interfere in that because that's an important component to, you know, this queen's experience in on this, you know, on this planet. Mm. It's funny because in, you know, I see past life relationship in reverse and he's like almost out of his chair. You know, I feel like he's representing past life. You know, almost like, you know, I am, I am from your past life. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You know, it feels like there's business you got to take care of. And I feel like you got to take care of it. There's no way around it. Like, I got to take care of it. And I feel like it's like me who has to take care of it. And then it is me who, you know, needs to find that courage to, again, start maybe a new path. Um, allow this wheel to spin again. Again, the sun is right there. And then we have, you deserve love. You are lovable. Well, playfulness in reverse makes me feel like, you know, for a period of time, you just didn't feel that. You just didn't feel that. But it's like this king is saying, but you deserve love. You are lovable. You know, no matter what anybody else has told you, it doesn't matter. Like, I am telling you that you deserve love and you are lovable. Now give me your heart. <laughs> give me your heart. You know, I'm noticing her bow and arrow and I'm just thinking of Cupid and it's almost like, you know, him using this bow and arrow and like reaching your heart. All right. I feel like I'm just going to take a couple more. And then I feel like I should just, well, we'll do Mother Mary. Worth waiting for. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You know, how interesting because I do feel that. Like, I feel that energy. And I feel like that's part of your intuition. You know, it's like part of the package, the spiritual package. The sun, the illuminator. You know, even the moon can be a reminder to slow down. You know, like, I can't deny what's right in front of my face, right? I can't see further down the road. You know, I do feel like um, sometimes divine is waiting on us patiently, patiently. So I feel like in, you know, each in their time. Each in their time, like it doesn't feel to be judgment here. You know, like when it's time, it's time. When, you know, when you can't deny, you can't deny. When you, 
start to make, you know, like when you start to just trust your intuition, um, I feel like that alone is going to move you. But, you know, it's like your intuition is like, but be honest, because there may be some things that we don't want to take along. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we're heading towards the wheel and maybe we don't want to take this energy along with us. And I'm here warning you. I'm here telling you. And, you know, I feel like, again, this king down here is just like, I have to let this person do what they need to do. It's a part, it's just part of this journey. And, you know, when, you know, it's funny how I open up the ring, the reading with justice saying, you know, it's done. Like she looked at me like it's done now. It's already done. I think those might have been my words. You know, to me, it's almost like a signal to this king, or let's just say to whoever this may be that, you know, okay, so that part is done. That means this person is starting to head on their path. I'm going to start on my path. And I just feel like you'll meet up. definitely feel like there will be a difference in the way that you feel like you know of course you could have loved this person out of the past of course you probably loved them but I feel like you're just going to see the difference you're going to feel the difference if you allow yourself I almost feel like you won't be able to help it. And again, it, there's a comfort level. A real comfort level of being exactly who you are without restriction. Like, you know, this person's not going to tell you. Like, you got to change your dreams. You got to dream differently. Um, you got to be different, this and that. Quite the opposite. They're going to lift you up. They're going to be on your side. You know, they're going to be by your side. But maybe you just need to know that you deserve. You know, maybe this you deserve love is bigger than I feel it. You know, maybe you just need to know that. And, you know, worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. Well, that's obvious. All right, Mother Mary. I say it's obvious, but then I look at the Eight of Swords, right? This person's got a blindfold on. You know, they have their hands loosely tied. They did it themselves. Um, you know, they have these swords all around them, which is, you know, walls. But, you know, I get it. It's like protecting myself. But I'm trying to do it like... It's almost like I'm forgetting about this whole spiritual part of myself. Um, again, your intuition, your spiritual team. And using that power, that knowledge, because I feel like... Once you realize that, then, you know, watch out, world. To me, this is freedom, like allowing oneself to have freedom, a new beginning. But it's me who has to release myself. Mm, blessings. Today, I count my blessings small and large, and I notice the new gifts that come to me from God. Blessings. 
Yeah, it's funny. I feel like I said like a while back, lessons and then blessings. Boundaries. I am clear and honest with others about my expectations. Boundaries. Maybe that's what you're learning. Maybe that's what you're learning, that there's certain boundaries that someone cannot cross anymore. Ten Swords. No more. And I feel like, well, that's probably a, um, like an answer to a lesson. So it makes sense to see blessing. Boundaries. All right. I think I'm going to leave it there. You know, I feel like this is, this is a little bit about more mm, in within my thinking than anything. I mean, I feel like you're dealing with real issues, but I feel like your intuition is like really calling you in this reading, like to really pay attention to it and trust it. You know, I feel like it's going to help guide you, but it may also be, you know, I feel like there's something happening. Play, um, Planet, like in the planets, hmm, where am I thinking this? Um, that may be a little like I feel like you know, it's the eclipse of like relationships that really are meant to come to an end. So, you may be feeling that energy. And then I feel like I can go with the flow, or I I don't know. I feel like you have to make that decision. Um, but I feel like, you know, what I really feel like the time has come. I feel like the time has come. Um, but then again, I feel like divine is like, but but we have patience. You know, we have patience. So, okay. I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, wow, what a reading, Leo. What a reading. I feel like this went very deep, like, like you know, like past lives and spirit, spiritual and, um, you know, like true soulmate type energy, like not just saying it, but really it being, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is really, hmm. But deep down, very powerful. And I feel like ultimately it's like showing a lesson and therefore like showing you how you can also end it if you so choose. Anyway, I'm going to let that be. Um, you know, I guess the best thing I can say is just break yourself free from any limited ideas or, you know, how you feel like you, you know, I feel like just be real with yourself. And then, you know, if there's things that are limiting you, make a decision and decide whether to set yourself free. I feel like try to set your mind free. All right. I'm going to let that be. I love you guys. I thank you. Um, I will see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.